Hey there, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts. This is going to be a series of tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how to model this and have the four added to it. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, in this first part, we're going to start by modeling the creature or the objects per se. So, for for us to do that, you bring in your cube. And what you want to do is to have a very small geometry as possible. So, I don't want to subdivide this. I'm just going to edit this, make it editable by hitting this icon. Then I'm going to select each of these components so i'm going to hit ctrl a for this then i will be in my polygon mode then right click as soon as i right click i'm going to see matrix extrude and the shortcut is mx so if i click on this matrix extrude so all i do is just click and drag click and drag and i have that so if i undo this and go out just move out of this and do that extrusion you can see what we have so that is how you do that but then there is a way to reduce this movement and if you look at that changing it you have this value here so this is what you're going to use to increase this so if I come here I start changing this value I have this then you can also change your steps by increasing this until you have nothing you can change the movements you are only moving along this Z you can also move along Y and X and all that so you can play with that so I think the Z is okay the only thing I want to do is just change the rotation then you can just play around with this rotation and change this to suit whatever you are looking for so you can actually use this to create a piggy bank the tail of a pig and if you know what i mean <laughs> so this is actually fun to work with and till you are okay with whatever you are looking for and the thing with this is it is procedural so you can go back and change it to whatever you want if you feel it's not giving you whatsoever you wish so now the thing is now if you look at it it doesn't really look nice it doesn't look nice and until you put it inside the subdivision surface so if i add this into a subdivision surface you start to see the effects that you're looking for so this is what you get and another thing is for that my creature you have some branches some part branching off of it so how i did that was to q to get rid of that was to select some parts of this um this polygon so i could just select this part of the polygon to create my branch from it so I'll select hold down shift and select various parts that I want to branch off from hold down shift and once I'm done I'm going to run the command again MX then I'm going to start increasing this so for for this I would want to first apply so I have that and I can start changing this value so you feel this is too much you can reduce this then bring this out zero it zero this and zero that so we can start to see what we get so if we look at this this is crumbling on itself so we have to look at this position to look at which will give us the best movement so for the first one only the third, the third one worked the Z position but for this one I, it seems the Z is not really working okay it's working we are going to the negative that's why it's crumbling over it so we we'll come to this place change it then we have that then you can also do your rotation here have a twisting you have the bending and you have the coiling so 
you can also change the subdivision here so maybe the subdivision is too much you can change that so let's say 12 so once you are done with this i think 12 might be too small so if you come here i have that so that's how you create the creature like effect and the other thing i did was to add four so what i'm trying to do here now is just to create the basis of this whole thing create the creature then once we're done we we'll start texturing that so if i go to my view frame the four so we have this so let's try and do the four so we'll go into this since we don't need any other thing we can decide to just convert this or we could just to decide to just change the current state to object but i need to have a backup so i'm going to control drag hide this then alt g to put it in the backup file just such that anytime i need to go back i can go back so this i'm going to right click on it so sorry i'm going to middle click on it rather then right click go to connect object and delete so we have this object so this is the object we have so what we will do for this is just to select it go to polygon mode then start highlighting some parts that we want so you can highlight this part where you want to have a and i think uh okay let's work with this so you can just highlight the part hold down shift highlights the parts where you want to have a and i think i should have a bonus here so you, let me just show you how this works so you highlight this part this is what i actually did i just highlighted polygons and various parts then once i have that selected go to my simulation hair object four and it's going to create four on those parts on this object so that's just what i did but the thing with this four is that i don't have room to change the movement or the height of this object but there is a better way to doing that and i'm going to delete this four and i'm also going to take this off then make sure I select nothing and that can be done here by selecting this object you go to selection you have your set vertex width so it's asking me what do I want I want to set it to zero as soon as I click OK everything is going to be red that means nothing is selected so for me to start selecting some parts and adding where I want that vertex to be so what I'm going to do is double click on this vertex as soon as I double click, it's going to give me my paint brush tool. Then I can use my lower bracket or left bracket and right bracket to increase this size. Or you could just come to the radius and reduce that. So what I want to do is I want to paint over where I want. So this is a better way of changing this. And and the thing I'm going to show you very soon how this is better than selecting polygon so if I'm selecting some parts of this object here and so let's say for this time I'm going to reduce the hardness and the opacity to let's say 50 and select some parts here you can notice that the coloring here is different from this one and it will also have an impact on our air on our four by the time we start adding that so i'm going to have some selections here around here and if you look at this my selections are so hard and i want to smoothen the selection so for me to smoothen the selection what i can do is just change from this vertex to oh sorry just come to can go to my paint brush tool double click here then we can start changing some of these things here okay option so we we'll go to the option sorry about that so in the mode we change this mode from absolute to smooth 
so as soon as we do that we apply it starts smoothing this thing can you see everything becomes smooth and the thing with this is that if i start to add air everywhere you have this yellowish color you have the maximum length of the air and as the yellow fades away the air reduces in height until it goes to red whereby you don't have any air so once you have this selected you can go back to that's why i said this is more effective and better of than just polygon selection so you can come here go to four as soon as you do that you notice what we have you create the four and put the vertex map here so basically what happened is let's assume we didn't have this object selected or i could just delete this if you just create if you don't have nothing selected and you create your four you're not going to have anything until you go into this four object and you drag your vertex map on the object then you have this then we could come here and change the height so let's say we want to change this height to 35 and increase this so let's say 50 you start seeing this effect here can you see so if you go to the level of detail let's increase this level of detail to 100 you see the effect you get some parts of the air is some parts are very long they have the maximum length while other parts are just reduced and that is done because of our painting on it we have some at 100 percent and some at 50 so and then we smoothing everything together to have the transition so that's how we had that so i feel this air is not much is not enough because this is the highest level of detail and we are already having this so let's change this to 200 thousand and i think we could still go for that so let's say 700 thousand and my system is going to think about it and have that so my system is beginning to slow down and but the solution to this is just going to the level of detail changing it back so we have very small level of detail i think i can change it back to 10 and 10 should work fine for me so if we have this you have that so that is how i created that object and putting the four on some part of this so in the next tutorial we're going to look at texturing this object and making everything look realistic and enough so i'm going to end this tutorial here and just come back for the next tutorial thank you do have a wonderful day bye